for St. Louis, this is it. This is really where, where it's happening. This is the epicenter of chess in the United States. Whether a hobby, a passion. I found the chess club and I never looked back. Or a profession. There's a common interest in the way these two play the game. Strategy. Yeah, you handle my Sicilian. Plans. Tactics. Every second counts as time and concentration compete against each other in this match at the chess club in Scholastic Center of St. Louis. I would describe chess as a gymnasium of the mind. If I'm not careful, I'll probably get checkmated. And you can check out the chess club all year round. You can even learn to play the game right here. You're attacking on the queen side, right. I'm attacking on the king side, and we're seeing who can break through first. This weekend, executive director Tony Rich will oversee one of the top tournaments in the world, the U.S. and Women's Chess Championships. 34 professional chess players will compete for the two biggest and most prestigious chess titles in the U.S. right here at his club. I wasn't even thinking that, that taking here would also defend right. that important square. Anyone who can master these boards can make anywhere from a quarter million to two and a half million dollars at a tournament. There's even more money for those who can do it blindfolded. He's visualizing this position with outside of the board, and he's doing that for 33 boards simultaneously, which is an extraordinary mental feat in my view. A challenge one can take on at any age in the competition. But the great thing about chess is it doesn't matter how old you are, or what your background is, or what your economic status is. Uh, you sit across the board from somebody and it's your mind against theirs. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, St. Louis.